Hey everyone, I'm so happy to do this IKEA kitchen review for you guys. I hope you enjoy this. Um, so this is the kitchen here. Um, I got it from my son who's now almost two and he loves it so so much so I thought I'd share it with anyone who's interested in toys for little boys or girls um, that are kind of like a Montessori type toy because it's a great option considering its color, its um, real aesthetic and it's just great. It's a great option. So here we go. These are the cabinets. Um, they come with two cabinets at the bottom. They open up. It has two shelves on the inside and you put this together you have to screw all the screws. Um, it all comes in little pieces so take your time. It has a magnet here for the open and shut um, doors and it's very easy for him. He loves it. And then on this side uh, it has like a see-through plexiglass type window to see through and it opens the same way um, with the little magnet closure here and when you put this together you have to line up the magnets so they close evenly which is really easy if you just follow the directions um, and they also have direction videos if that's helpful and I put this little basket down here he puts his lids in here he loves he just loves to fill this little basket and put it under here and you'll see him walking all around with it so it's really it's a really cute basket I got it off Amazon if anyone's interested in that um, and also I wanted to just give you an overview of the top portion here it has as you can see a little microwave at the top um, and it opens up and you can have they love to like put things inside of there they have the two shelves on the side and then the sink and then the two burner stove. Now um, when we get down to the bar underneath, um, they have little five hooks under there and the microwave has the same plexiglass as down below and when you open it up it has the same magnet closure and you screw that on to get it to close up and line up and it's very easy to open and shut and it does not fly open once it's closed and then it has a little um, area that you could put your little food inside and act like you're warming something up which is so cute I just love it and then this is the little um, puppies that they have on each side little shelves to store things and he likes to keep his egg in here so let's put it back and here I just want to show you that these side um, compartments are pretty good size. So these are the hooks that it comes with. It comes with five. Um, I hang up his little spoons and his little mitten. And this is the sink and it moves from side to side and um, also the handle, you can turn the handle, which is fun. And the sink, it kind of pops in and out. So I do find that he plays with that and pulls it out. Now, what I would say is that um, if that's something that's a bother you, you probably want to get some type of glue or adhesive that will kind of tack it down so that they don't take it in and out. Because my son takes this in and out all the time, and I do think that's like a negative for me. And also with the two burner stove, he tends to take this out and plays with it. And because I like to lean toward Montessori type play, I did not add the batteries into this. This takes um, three or four batteries, and I did not put the batteries in there because I I didn't want the added noise and lights and things. But he can press the buttons, which is fun. And if it had batteries, then those burners would actually light up. So um, I want to stay away from that. Feature. Also, as you can see here, I'm showing that it could just pop up and he opens the door and just pushes it up. So um, that's another area of it that's kind of negative that it could just pop out like that. So you might want to glue it down with some type of glue, I guess, if um, you didn't want them to remove it. But I kind of just, when he removes it, I just leave it out. So I'll insert a picture here. 
So we're gonna have like prints over. What do you think? Maps, like, you want to that would be super cool to do gaming. Big bad right? You know, big bad there, or the ones to play in. You can do the zip line. Just an overview again and I want to show you that this panel is one of many panels this comes in a lot of pieces so it's not something you want to put together while the kids are around because there's so many screws and you really need to take your time with this so you can get a good outcome um, when it's all done like you don't want it all shaky and things so yeah, you want to put this together when nobody's around to like um, bother you. And these are, yeah, this is the this part right here on the sides. It doesn't have to be connected. You can just have the bottom portion, but you don't have to have this top part. It does come with a piece that you can mount this to the wall to prevent tipping. Um, I didn't mount mine. But it's pretty sturdy without it, but it does come with that piece and that option to mount this to the wall for safety. And yeah, this is a little mitt. Um, it all came in a set. This mitt, these dishes, the spoon, the lids, and the little um, basket at the bottom. All these pieces came together in one set. I just got a dish set off Amazon. I tried to get them realistic looking to, again, um, stick to that Montessori, Montessori <laughs> type play. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Please like it. Please subscribe. Send it to your friends. And it really helps my channel. I so appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.